Hello everyone, we are playing Seventh Angel. But it's still Batman. Okay, so I have no idea what this game's about. Looks like we're in some sort of hazmat suit. How to play? Now nah, we'll figure it out. We don't need no directions. Best experience with headphones in the dark alone. Go pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> Awakening. Alrighty, what we got? Let's look around here. So we got a little kit. What's with the noise? What's this button? What's this? Patient short. Mental status. Patient is irritable. Wait, hang on. Who, who is the patient? Marshall or Kane? Okay. Patient is irritable, distracted, and minimally communicative. Disheveled and looks unhappy. His speech is disfluent, garbled, and loud. There's difficulty naming objects, difficulty repeating phrases in, is noted, body posture and attitude convey an underlying aggressive mood. Speech and thinking appears slow by depressed mood, denies having suicidal ideas, psychosis, or borderline psychotic process is present. Disorganized behavior has been observed, expresses inappropriate anger. His associations are loose, homicidal ideas or interactions are Convincingly denied. Let's see. His productions at times are irrelevant. His conversation is disconnected. And at times, incomprehensible. He appears confused. He has severe paranoia. Patients should be held for observation under strict restraints. No visitors. No visitors. The patient is irritable, distracted, and minimally communicative. He's disheveled and looks unhappy. His speech is disfluent, garbled, and loud. He has difficulty naming objects. We literally just psychotic read this. Or borderline psychotic episodes continue. Hallucinations have become more frequent. I'm recommending an EEG to check for abnormal electrical activity in the brain. His daughter has been... Uh, excuse me, Dr. Stone. There's been an incident, no doubt your presence is required immediately. I'll head down there in a moment. Click, click. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Door is locked, find a way to unlock it. Oh, there's a red button here. There we go. I couldn't open the door. <laughs> Alrighty, nowhere to go but forward. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Dude, there's nothing happening. <laughs> He is freaking out. There's not a damn thing going on and he is freaking out. Double flashlight? Sure don't. Too dark. I need light. Is there a flashlight on here? Why is this all lit up? Uh, 
flashlight. Nope. Can I move this? Can I, can I move you? Nope. What's over here? Anything over here? Nope. Do I just walk aimlessly into the dark? Oh, I guess I do. Okay. That is highly unsanitary. Uh, what are they giving me? I uh, can't tell. I heard a voice. I heard something. I hear voices. How you doing? Okay. Goodbye. Find a key. Okay. Find a key. Find body bags. Can't get in there. There's got to be a way in there. Let's see. Is there a back way in there? beautiful. Alright, we're in. Ooh, what's this? That is a rosary, not a key. Dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. found. Oh, okay. I didn't even see a key. I found that on accident.
I just gotta keep moving. Keep moving. Don't stop moving. My child's hair keeps changing colors. I don't think this is my child at all. I think she's some kind of alien. Demon child. <gasps> oh my goodness, stop looking around so fast. You're making me dizzy. Take your pills. Oh, good take them. All right, cool. woman had a very manly voice. I don't judge. You do you, man. Wait, is there someone out there? Do I have to be sneaky? I think we gotta be sneaky. Find the switch to unlock it. Find the switch to unlock it. Are you a switch? No, you're just light. Hitting me. All right, where did it leave me off at? I died. Yes, they beat me up to death. And I don't know if the game's going to make me start all over or not. If it makes me start all over, we're playing a different game. Okay, it's not letting me start anything. Oh no, it's glitching out. Do, you in the red suit, start the game. I lost my, I lost my mouse. I lost everything. I don't have, cursor I don't have all right let's close this all right da 
Ah, okay. We're gonna play Detective Grimoire. We're not gonna just end it there. We're gonna play a different game. I played 2% of this game already. And, uh... It confused me. This game confused me. But we're gonna try it again. Oh, good, 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 good. Twenty twenty five last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A small tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Oh, no. A tourist attraction? Here? I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in this swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old lady. I still don't see why it matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. Okay. Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boggy's Bog, was found dead outside his office at 2045 last night. Exact cause of death is unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Slime around the wound and footprints found at the scene suggest the culprit was Boggy, the legendary swamp creature. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Ew, gooey, 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 gooey. That's all suspect. Arthas! Arthas! Arthas, I'm trying to solve a murder! Arthas would like to help us solve the murder. Hang on. So this is our suspect. He's a frog. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Oh no, not my hat! Your case file is in the top right. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. What, what, what? Okay. When you've collected some, of course. Yes. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused, come back here and I'll help you. Something was crawling in my ear, guys. I think there was a bug in my headphones. Alright. That's where I need to go. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the bottom right. Oh, and if I'm feeling confident, I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. I'm not feeling confident. We're not turning off the sparkly hit icons. Hi! Wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I, well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> of course, you're not great at remembering. I should be offended, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You're that weird girl from the fairground. 
saw your hat float through here already. You must be slow, if it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be You'll get lost. I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Although, I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. Wait, what do you mean? If you... Hmm, she disappeared. I might pretend I have magic. I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. Don't forget to use walk mode to move around. Oh yeah, walk mode to move around. Hang on, I got a message. Okay, walk mode to move around. I'm gonna keep just forgetting my that. Luck, it looks like I can move these metal latches around. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Slidey, slidey, slidey. Nope, up, over, around, bam. Hey, nice. I might get one of these from my office. This is the tourist attraction? The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. Let's do some thinking. All right, we're gonna do some thinking. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom, and flick through the connecting statements in between. Do what now? To make a sentence. I gotta make a sentence. Tap the confirm button to try it out. I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Boggy's bog. Seems like the middle of nowhere. Okay. That little girl is too stupid for... Yeah, let's do this one. That little girl is too stupid for the murder. To murder someone. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. That little girl is too stupid for the murder to have happened. Oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't understand any of this. Pay attention to speech. It usually helps with sentence. The swamp isn't warm enough for... The swamp isn't warm enough for the murder to have happened. I don't get it. Seriously. Who I don't get it either. Here for a vacation. I don't get it either, man. I don't get it either. Is there a cheat? Can I cheat? Look at all the sentences. I looked at them all. None of them make sense. The swamp is far too remote for the murder to have happened. Uh, no. I think so. Case closed. Slapping down my gavel. The 
tourist attraction is far too remote for that little girl to murder someone. Yo, oh, that doesn't make sense. Does it does it? make sense. I think the girl did it. <laughs> The girl did it. That's my final ruling. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I don't think my beard, our boat, or his hat has anything to do with anything. swamp is far too remote for Officer James to make any money. Uh, I think that's pretty close. I just don't get how this place even exists. I don't know, man. We're about to play a different game. Okay, so that was close. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm. Oh, I got really it. Bad. I got it. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> What's the story behind this place? There's a hollow part of the tree uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. There's a museum to the left and a cafe to the right. I'm not hungry, though. This place is putting me off food. Um, all right, let's go to the museum. To the museum. I did not pay attention to the speech whatsoever. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. What's this? These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was to the west. Well... There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. Prince. There are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door and back down into those reeds by the water. Ah, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like kicking the door down. Maybe if I get desperate later on. There's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. So, this is where they found Remington's body. Okay. What's this? A map tourist attraction generously donated by the mysterious little girl. What's that? What's that? Next. What? Next. Previous. Next. Previous. Next. Previous. Next. Previous. Next. Previous. next. Okay. Suspects. All right, I guess I leave. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Ah, some suspects. 
Let's get this investigation started. Oh? All right, let's see. Another suspect from my notebook. That's a little rude. No, uh, I'm sorry. Did I say that what, bit out loud? Not talking? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. Oh, God. So would you be able to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Uh, obviously. Grimoire. Strange. Is that your first name? It's my 23rd name. It's actually my 23rd name, but it's the one I like the best. Oh, no. What? What is this nonsense? All right. So you already told me what you do, but now why would a cameraman be working here? I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent Vanderpeer. You mean that man standing on that rock over there? That's right. I've worked with him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Oh, really? But why did you want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm just the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here? In this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Richard Remington was there, too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. I don't really have a clue. A prolific cameraman with exceptional skills at carrying heavy equipment. Alright, I'm gonna help you. Yes, do you have a message for me? Uh, no. I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. You don't look it. Who are you, anyway? What a question. You're serious? I am Vincent Vanderpeer. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. Um... Yeah, I heard your work was going downhill lately. I heard your work was going downhill lately. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? But then I'll be too far away to talk to you. I know. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? This again? <laughs> you can tell I'm not into this game at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, my eyebrows offered to help Vincent Van Peer to murder the victim. <laughs> my eyebrows offered to help Vincent Van Der Peer to murder the victim. Uh, no. Sounded right to me. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can really do. Guessing Officer James, right? Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Officer James to film here in the swamp. Oh, that's nearly right. Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Present a clue. 
You won't be getting very far discussing that with me. Try someone less important. Ah, yes. The reason we're all here, of course. Not me. Isn't he your prime suspect? Well, officially, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> what an amazing creature! No one has seen him for 60 years and he still manages to get accused of murder. Incredible! I heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the... in the swamp? What are you talking about? Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Oh, that. Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, I'm sure. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes, too. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. That can't be it. Money. Right. That's the one. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Well, bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just... A favor for a favor. So you would have owed him money? Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Alright, I think I got everything I need. The little girl did it. Oh, my eyeball itches. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Actually... I don't think I have another short game to play, though. Hmm. I'm being summoned. I guess that means I have to go. Are you sure you want to quit the game? Yes, God, yes, I want to quit the game. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a thing. What else did I get? I got a witch -a doodle thing. That's cool. I got a witch -a doodle thing. Okay. Too short? It was a half hour, man. Well, I do have two other games to play. Nine Child Street and Yumi Nikki. But those are going to be for their own... Um, Episodes? Would you call it episodes? I don't want to play them with this one. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching me struggle through these two games. I hope you had as much fun as I had. Well, no. I hope you had more fun than I had. And come back when I play other spooky scary games. Bye, guys.